Paris Music Festival, a time when members of the public from all over the empire hang up their working boots and travel to a field to have measured and reasonable fun whilst listening to their favorite popular musicians from all over the globe. Observe this group of young, diverse and empowered millennials. Look at how blissfully happy they are, laughing, joking, recalling the exact number of alcoholic beverages they consumed at their last music festival. I had five. While festivals can be a fun and exciting place for people of all ages, there can be mishaps, especially with ages 18 to 32 who have not yet learned how to handle their shit. Follow these simple steps and you too can have fun and create images perfect for posting on a range of social media ads. Step 1. Equipment. Britain. A place known for our great manners, eloquent queuing and an ironclad class system. What we are not known for is our reliable weather. A tip-top tent is the most important thing for our young festival goers. Pop-up tents may be affordable, but with no fly sheet, it's not going to be long before you're wet as an otter's pocket. And remember, children, locking your tent will not stop thieves. It will only stop your future drunk itself from gaining entrance in the cold, dark hours of the morning. If you don't want your valuables stolen, don't bring them. Step 2. Footwear. While high heels can be great for snagging a reliable husband, at a British festival they will only serve in making you walk like you're looking for the toilet. Boots are good, but Wellington boots are better. Be prepared. It's how we won the war, and it's how you're going to win this festival. Step 3. Drugs. Very popular, very exciting, and very deadly. You there, young man. You may be excited to smoke a cocaine through an acid, or maybe even dip your toes in the popular fun time drug, Medmare. But we can promise you that even looking at someone who has taken drugs will almost certainly end in death. Hold on, hold on, old chap. Now, if you are going to be attempting to procure drugs from a fellow festival goer, be aware. Although he may look both friendly and hip, he is not your friend. Most likely, they are selling subpar gear, mixed with a number of household cleaning products and even rat poison, designed to boil your tiny little brains. It could not only ruin your festival experience, but possibly your life. Know your limits. Start slow. Got it? Step four, food. Food is what makes our bodies run, like a reliable and safe blimp. Fuel goes in, and the blimp works properly. Now look what happens when we only give the blimp alcohol. Oh dear. The perfect example. And pretty much what will happen to you. The overconsumption of alcoholic beverages can lead to poor form, a decrease in manners, left-wing politics, and a heightened sense of physical ability. Don't burn out. If you stick to these simple rules, you too can enjoy the honored pastime that is the British Festival. Thank you, and God bless the King.